is definitely overweight. So this person is very sick because there is no even one organ or system which is not overworking. And if person with the same height has weight of 45 kilograms, it is also disease. For people who are underweight, they have to go and see doctor. Doctor should go, should look, should look for the reason. What is the, okay, let's say, let's look at mine, for instance, yeah? Yeah. Let's look at mine. <coughs> I'm 42 years old, right? And I'm uh, 170, 5'10", okay? So we are assessing your safe weight. Safe weight. From the medical point. Yeah. Your safe weight will be from 65 to 82. Anything above 82 will be considered overweight. You can see that range is quite wide, from 65 right. to 82. Yeah. So when person is coming, I am giving him safe weight, range, range of safe, safe weight, and then person is deciding for himself what weight he wants to be. Somebody wants to be on the highest level of normal, Quite a lot of people, they are selecting 65. Some people want to be 82. Somebody is selecting 70. So it is individual. So if I'm 95, say, I'm 13 kilograms overweight. Yes. It means so you need to lose your weight. Come on. Very much. Do, do I look fat uh, or obese? From the medical point, you definitely, Jeff, you definitely need to lose your weight. I mean, what if I'm heavy bone? You don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> to talk about your weight? No, I don't <laughs> mind at all. But what if I'm heavy nice. bone? No. You know, cause the reasons for obesity, people are bringing so many different reasons for obesity. Somebody is saying maybe, you know, doctor, I'm, he I'm overweight because I have heavy bones. Another patient is saying that I increased my weight after delivery. Another saying, I increased my weight after divorce. Another after changing work. Another person is saying, I help my overweight because of hormonal disbalance. Causes, reasons which patients are bringing are millions. Is that denial mostly? But most important yeah. is those findings of the doctors which will make person doesn't matter what is the reason, but this most important finding that doctors found how to work with the people, how to bring them to the normal weight. So let's say I'm 13 kilograms overweight, right? Does that, is that dangerous? Do I need to bring it down or just maintain? Or so, Jeff, you can imagine that you carry in your hands bag with 13 kilograms all the time. I, I Not just when you are coming out from supermarket. Right. All the time. <laughs> so All can day you long. imagine this weight? All day long. All day long. All day, yeah. yeah All yeah. day. And all night yeah. your your body is working for this extra kilograms. So if you have thirteen kilograms extra you need to lose you it. You need to lose it. Wow. Definitely. Huh. Until you are young, mm. uh, your uh, body is compensating. Yeah. Because body is strong, system is strong. Right. All organs are strong. With the time, obesity and o overweight are going together with hypertension, myocardial infarction, yeah. cerebrovascular accidents, problem with the joints problem. Joints are also overworking. Spine is overworking. So if person is overweight, if person is above allowed level, he has no contraindication for losing weight. He should think about it seriously. Okay, so <coughs> apart from uh, coming to see you, uh, do you also recommend exercise? <coughs> exercises? Um, with the co exercises are good for fitness, but not for the weight loss. You may find it contradictive yes. because a lot of people are using exercises to lose weight. To lose weight, but our experience is showing. Experience of many many people is showing. After doing a lot of active exercises, they are losing 10 kilograms. After stopping these active actions, they are adding 15. The same like with diet. Uh, people are dieting. With a, uh, with a diet, they are losing seven. After stopping dieting, 
they are adding 10. Mm. So it means people are increasing, the, it is creating that condition when person is increasing his weight yeah. instead of losing. Yeah. What about cholesterol? Big problem. Cholesterol, yeah, when patient is coming for slimming um, therapy, generally it is not must to check, but I'm encouraging most of my patients, all my patients, I'm encouraging to do general medical checkup, like full hemogram. Full what? Full hemogram. ESR, HB, white blood count. I'm encouraging patients to check their cholesterol level, to do ECG. We do uh, medical examination of the person to, may, to, to know about his condition and to go on with the weight loss according to the person's health. Yeah. Um, our, our, we, so we can see the reports. We are checking cholesterol level before we start slimming therapy and like half a year after. So if person, quite a number of cases, actually, mm, a lot of patients have normal, even normal yeah. cholesterol level, yeah. but quite a lot of patients has high cholesterol level on bo or borderline. After six months, we can see that cholesterol level is going down, and generally it is logical. Doctor, I want to talk more about that because it's getting interesting. We want to talk about <laughs> smoking as well, and also you know, just bad eating habits, which obviously you see coming through your office doors, right? But first, we'll take a break. Mm -hmm. My guest today, Dr. Ludmila Chukina. Yes, did I say that right? right. Chukina. Chukina. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about obesity, overweightness, generally being fat, and I've just been told I'm a little overweight. Shocking, but that's problem in Kenya. A lot of us don't think that we're overweight or obese, but we are. Need to get checked. Interesting conversation. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go away.